chat me less than a month ago. <laughs> Play Runeterra asks. The main Legend of Runeterra account asks, what are the four cards that define you as an LOR player? I'm like, damn, Twisted Fate, bro. I've been with Twisted Fate since the beginning. I love Twisted Fate. I love the decision making. Shellfolk, I love the decision making around Shellfolk. Glorious Evolution is just the value combo explosive and then flock. And Riot. Riot used this as bait, Chubb. They use this as bait and they're like, okay, write this down, write this down. Okay, and uh, rotate every single one of those cards. <laughs> rotate every single one of those cards. And here we are, you know, with, uh, with every single one of those fucking cards being rotated. Dude, I just, I, there's so many cards that I'm just, I'm just sad. I'm just really sad about. Like, okay, Banal City rotation. I think this is like fine. I, I don't think Poppy was like problematic, but sure, sure, fine. I, especially since we still have like Bandle Swarm, right? Like the Phase Swarm package is like still in the game. Yordle in Arms is still in the game. So like obviously going wide with Poppy isn't an issue, right? Yordle Captain is still in the game. Portal Palooza is still in the game. Like going wide with Bandle isn't an issue. Why did Poppy need to get hit? What, what, what has Poppy been doing wrong? Bilgewater, understandable. Honestly, across the board, understandable. I'm very sad about Twisted Fate, um, but understandable. Your Lux, okay, sure. Um, Freljord, did Braum really need to get rotated? Like, I, I, I think Trundle, 100%. I'm super down with Trundle getting rotated. Anivia, I get it. I, I get it, I get it. But Braum? What did Braum do? <laughs> really, what did Braum do? Ionia? I really a Yasuo Lee Sin. Honestly, sure. I don't know what Yasuo did. Like, Yasuo was, like, fine. He was, like, this tier 2.5 deck. Um, was it, did we think that he would just be, like, unplayable again without Katarina? Probably true. I don't know. I don't know why Yasuo got rotated. But, like, what about Karma? <laughs> what about Karma? If, if you were trying to make a list of, like, the most abusive champions in the game that, like, would be most likely to abuse any new cards that you probably um, have to think about, like, every single time that you print a card... I think that, like, Karma, Nami, Akshan, and Ezreal feel like the, the, the fucking poster children. Those are the poster children of rotation. And somehow Karma made it through? What the fuck? What the fuck? Noxus, Draven, Katarina, Vlad. I mean, Vlad's a little weird, but sure. Honestly, fine. Fine. P and Z? Ezreal, 100%. Ezreal's one of the four that I just listed. I think that Ezreal probably deserved rotation. Victor, I think Victor probably deserves rotation too, right? Like he has like this, this like multiplication factor of like, you know, always going to be able to like combo out and like is like this really strong win condition. And like, you know, if you create too many cards, like it could be an issue. Um, like, could you imagine Victor Samira? Um, where like Victor's flipping on like, I don't know, like turn five, turn six, even like Victor coins could be kind of scary um it's it's fine it's i i get it i get it but vi what did vi do <laughs> what did vi do i see here's the thing i think that reddit reddit likes to complain about vi because reddit thinks that vi's dog shit vi is not dog shit vi is really fucking good um she has been like this really really solid champion for a long time she gets splashed as a one-up into so many different lists she's really good at controlling the board and controlling these mid-range matchups Vi, like, has a position and has a place. Like, it, it, the, the only reason I could think, the only reason I could think to rotate Vi is that they just don't want PNZ to be, like, a mid-range deck. They just don't want PNZ to, like, play for board with, like, units. And, like, okay, I guess. Um, but Vi is just, like, Vi is really good, I think. Um, too similar to set? Then maybe they should have a different design for set. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Because fucking Leona's still in the game. Leona's still in the game, chat. Come on. Breaks the region pie. Champions are supposed to break region pie. God, I fucking hate the region pie argument so much. She's challenger. She shouldn't have challenger. <laughs> okay, Shadow Isles. Elise. Okay, sure. Kindred. Okay. Okay. Thresh. Bro, come on. What's wrong with Thresh? I mean, are, 
are there like cards like where they do they want to like kill like 10 things in a turn and like they can't because they're worried about thresh thresh like is just not a problematic card like at all i i just don't think thresh is like problematic at all um yeah viego if you're looking for somebody who like limits shit i feel like viego is crazy viego has broken so much shit in this game um god and then Hecarim? Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe the idea is that just the Hecarim archetype just isn't working. Um, but I don't I don't know why. I don't know why. There's huge champs coming in, they don't want to cheat out. Yeah, but like. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Sharima? Zillion? <laughs> I think Zeref and like Sivir. Makes sense. I think that these two are like really, really strong. Sivir's been like ubiquitously strong and like splashed into so many Sharima decks. Sivir's like really good. Has been like really good for a long time. Um, and then Zerath, I, I, I'm fine with rotating Zerath. Zillion? What did Zillion do wrong? Like, really, what did Zillion do wrong? I, I don't know about that one. And then Targon, Zoe, Aphelios, Soraka, Tarek. I think Raka, sure. I think even Tarek, even Tarek, sure. Sure, if he, if he only sees play as like this really degenerate, you know, rally like four times in one turn game plan, sure. I think that's fine. I think it's fine to rotate Tarek. Zoe and Aphelios, I mean, these are like strong cards and like I get it, but also these are like Targon to me. To me, Targon is Zoe and Aphelios. Targon is like this, this invoke value game plan right that like you know plays like these these cheaper cards like generate you other cards you know and it's like it's the decision making it's the flexibility and then you know playing like big you know like celestial bombs later on but the thing is like targon now targon is not that post rotation targon is nowhere near that post rotation like let's just let's just take a peek let's just take a real quick peek chat what champions are left in targon we're looking at standard we have diana yumi Pantheon, Kale, Leona, Malphite, Aurelian Soul. It's just mid-range. It's just mid-range beefy boys. That that's it. It's uh, it's so depressing. The, the, they they rotated like everything I enjoy out of Targon, right? Like the, the the stuff that I enjoyed in Targon is just gone. And like now we're just like playing units. <laughs> we're just jamming stats on board. Like we're just Demacia 2.0. We're Demacia 2.0, but like you know we have like some stuns. And like, can you even call on people anymore? I don't know. I think it's just, I think it's just really depressing. It's really depressing. Um. God, I, I just, I. Targon, I feel like has just lost its way. Um, and like we're like doubling down on like the Leona half, and I hate the Leona half. I really hate the Leona half. The Leona. Malphite Pantheon, I just I despise that shit. Ugh, yeah. But like you know, notable people, Auction. Where's Auction? <laughs> Where's Auction? Auction has oh broken so much shit. I for so long went to bat for um I went to bat for Auction for so long. I was like Auction's not broken. Auction is fine. Auction is fair. Auction, you know, you know, he gets value, but like a lot of what he's doing is very fair, it's interactable. There's cool shit with Auction. And I like Auction. But the issue with Auction is that like with equipments coming out and stuff like momentous choice, Auction's just not okay anymore. He's just not okay anymore. In the same way that like Nami abused the hell out of momentous choice, I think the Auction does like very similar things um with weapons and momentous. Like it, it's just it's and this is like an issue that continually comes up over and over and over and over and over with Auction. That's like how in the fuck how in the fuck is auction still in this game god do you know how often cards will be rotated once per year um yeah nami nami's still in which like nami's very much neutered right now um nami's incredibly neutered and it, it's just oh i don't know rip nami i don't know if nami will ever be playable i'm sure, I'm sure she will at some point explain to region pie so region pie the whole idea of region pie is that like specific regions are better at specific things right um so like si is like the big removal region right you know so they have like a ton of kill spells and such um and like right's kind of trying to refocus them on being that um 
you know, by like removing all their pings. That's like kind of the idea of this rotation is that they're removing all the pings and stuff from Shadow Isles to put them, you know, really focus them in on like this big kill region. Um, they once upon a time were the self slay region, but all of that's been rotated out. Um, they were the fearsome region, but it's not really the case anymore. So yeah, region pie is basically just um, the idea that like regions are good at things, right? And like ideally have like weaknesses elsewhere right so like bilge water is like very much a ping region they have like infinite pings and like infinite like little dinky damage and like little dinky units but they suck at removing big things right which is why sunk cost like you can see in their car design that this is a, 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 this is the point of bilge water is that it sucks at removing big things because their big removal is eight mana and it doesn't fucking remove them right like like sunk cost is 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 like the the perfect example of like the idea of bilge water Shouldn't Kindred be the poster champion? I don't know. I mean, maybe they just think Kindred's problematic. Oh, yeah. I just, like, it, it's it's just, I don't know. The Karma, Auction, and uh, Nami. Avoiding it is wild. Um, and even, like, individual cars, right? Like, I think a lot of these cars make sense. Like, I'm sad about Shellfolk, but I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to, like, complain that Shellfolk got rotated. I think it makes sense that Shelfo got rotated. But, like, why did Arena Mecha Caster get rotated? Um, especially since, like, Yordle Arms is still in the game. Like, this is just, like, this is just, like, a payoff for, like, the go-wide strategy. I guess because it's, like, technically Rumble support? Is that why he got, he got rotated? Is because, like, he came out at the same time as Rumble? That's really fucking weird. What about Yordle Ranger? Yordle Ranger's, like, a good card that gets played in, like, a lot of these go-wide strategies. Did he only get rotated because Poppy got rotated? That's weird. That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, all of the attached cards getting rotated is like... But Yumi stayed in. Yumi stayed in. But all of the attached cards got rotated. It, it's... A lot of the decisions just feel weird. And Pokestick, dude. I, like, if Bandel City is the ping region, and the idea is to, like, make them the ping region, rotating Pokestick just, like, feels bad. It feels bad because I don't think that Pokestick was like as impactful on like game states as like Valfeast, right? I think Valfeast um, was doing like so much more crazy shit than like Pokestick. I think Pokestick was like fine. It was fine. It was just ping one, draw one, right? And maybe it's like too generic, right? Maybe it's too generic um, and like that's the idea. But God, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's wild. It's wild. Um, yeah, Bilge, I think Bilge, like, a lot of the Bilge stuff, like, sure. Did, like, Songstress, like, wh why'd Songstress get rotated? Really? Wh why, why'd song Songstress? Like, this is a Nami card, right? Why, why'd the Nami card get rotated? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Poor Jack the winner. Oh, Shakedown got rotated, too. That's interesting. Okay, based on age. I mean, sometimes... I don't know. Vile has the same value as Poke, but is also generating tempo. Vile is, like, such a crazy card. Because, okay, like, the argument for Vile uh, th that I could see, like, outside of even just, like, SI shouldn't be the ping region, is that Vile, like, killed a unit, summoned a unit, and, like, uh, healed you, right? So it heals you um, not just the one damage. Vile Feast was oftentimes healing you, like, five damage and, like, completely shutting down attacks. Vile Feast was, like, such an impactful card to draw... Pokey just wasn't that, like, ever. Which is why it's, like, I don't know. It feels like it's 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 such a non-problematic card. Yeah, Shakedown's a Tom Kench card, yeah. Um, Like, uh, e even here, right? Like, Concerted Strike? Bro, I feel like Demacia is Concerted Strike. I feel like Demacia is Concerted Strike. And I'm sad to see Concerted Strike go. Um, uh, Brightsteel Formation? What did Brightsteel Formation do wrong? Isn't this, like peak demacia oh, I, don't, I don't know i don't know laurent protege like i i guess i guess that because it's fiora support but like protege's very rarely like played as fiora support he's just he's just a good challenger unit why can't we just have a good challenger unit oh, i don't know man wasn't wins of war barely new card it came out with galio so it's like a year old. Yeah. Um, 
Froyord, I mean, Froyord lost like all its healing, right? Like, what? What's? And Yeti's got rotated. Bro, I, I don't know why Yeti's got rotated. Um, but like, what's left in Froyord? Wait, did Yeti Yearling not get rotated? Wait, 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 just a second. Yeti Yearling didn't get rotated, and Avaros and Trapper didn't get rotated. Why the fuck did Abominable Guardian and Ancient Yeti get rotated? What the fuck? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, I I really don't. Wait, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I. Oh, what? Because LeBlanc was toxic? Oh, yeah. Is Freyard playing for LeBlanc sins of all things? Damn. I don't know. What's left here? Freyard has Orn, but like Orn lost Mender, which is weird to me. I guess they just really don't want healing in this region. I just. I don't know, man. Either rotate Babbling Beer. I mean, assumedly because they don't want. The tutor, I guess? I don't know. Frodo has Thralls? God, I'm sure I'm glad that Thralls is the designated the designated archetype. And they still have Shoe Wanders. Um, and they still have like both the new ramp cards. So I don't think they're over, but like, Jesus. And the number of future Yetis? Yeah, but what about Ancient Yeti? What did Ancient Yeti do wrong? Like, what the fuck did Ancient Yeti do? Ionia? I think Hoko was like a long time coming. I think Hoko was a long time coming, and I think that's fine. Twin, also a long time coming. Deep Med's rough. The Mourned is an Ari card. What'd the Mourned do wrong? <laughs> I I also didn't mention it in Bandle, but like they literally rotated all of Kennen's support, but Kennen is still in the game. Like, what the fuck? Why what'd the Mourn do wrong? Um Pod? What did Pod do wrong, dude? I love Pod. <laughs> I think most of the stuff makes sense here, but God, there's just there's so many like I feel like every region has just like multiple cards. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Um, didn't know that many cards. Yeah, like 469, I think. They even hit health pot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I don't know. Would you also do wrong? Exist, bro. Flock. I I love so much about flock so much about it the way that it makes the game play that like it's hard for me to see flock go i love flock i feel like flock was such a fair card you're always two for wanting um and like it was a known quantity and i i i'm gonna miss flock a lot i'm really gonna miss it um but why did arachnoid century get rotated i feel like arachnoid century just like ugh, just like is noxus I feel like Arachnoid Sentry is Noxus. I love Arachnoid Sentry. Like, this is such a good defensive card. It's such a good tempo card. Uh, Arachnoid Sentry is genuinely one of my favorite cards in the entire game. I'm so sad to see this card go. I'm so sad to see this card go. Um, House Spider? I mean, yeah, it's, it's been around for a while. Maybe. Maybe House Spider deserved it. Why is Whispered Words? So LeBlanc is staying in the game, right? LeBlanc is staying in the game, but we're rotating Thrashing Snapper. We're rotating Thorn of the Rose. Are we rotating Whispered Words? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? I, wh what the fuck? <laughs> I, we literally rotated out LeBlanc's entire support. But then they're like, oh. <laughs> you know what it feels like, Jeff? <laughs> it feels like they wanted to rotate too many cards. It feels like they're like, okay, well, yeah, Swain, or, or Rumble. Rumble's obviously problematic. We need to rotate him. Vladimir, we already committed to rotating him. Draven, we got to rotate him. Katarina, we got to rotate him. LeBlanc, we got to rotate her. Swain, I mean, he's with Flock. We got to rotate him. And then they looked and they're like, shit, we're only leaving like four champions left behind. Okay, okay. So we'll just rotate all of LeBlanc's support and all of those cards. But you can keep LeBlanc. And we'll rotate Flock and everything that supports Swain. But you can keep Swain. <laughs> Bro, there's no way that halfway through they realized they wanted to rotate half the region, right? There's no way. Oh. What does Swain even have now? He still has Levy. Swain has Levy. Um, Guillotine's gone. 
Death's Hand is gone. Bro, why did Death's Hand get? Dude, it's actually so crazy. Death's Hand and Blade's Edge? <laughs> what the fuck are we disintegrating with, dude? What's our disintegrate card? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's just it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, his the, all the champ spells stayed the same. And like PNZ, like I get Vi. Like or I get everything. Like I get the champions other than Vi. Vi's I'm not crazy about. Thermo. Dude, I'm so sad about Thermo. I feel like Thermo is such a cool design for a card because you're always all in, right? Every time you play Thermo, you're all in. This is the last card that you're playing for the turn. If you spend, you know, like eight mana on it to try and like Hail Mary kill a big unit, you can do that. Um, if you spend it for like one mana with your extra mana, you can do that. I feel like Thermo is like such a cool design. I love Thermo. I love Thermo so much that like it's, oh, it's depressing to see it go. Apply my Sivir logic to Vi. So the thing is, I think Sivir was like constantly winning games on her own. I don't think Vi has ever won a game on her own her entire life. Other than like, I don't know, a game where like, you know, having a big challenger unit on board automatically wins you the game. Like it, <laughs> if Vi gets rotated for being Screeching Dragon, like fuck me, dude. Um, I think all the Telstones are still the same. That's what I've heard. Um, Kitty? Damn, that's that's crazy. Rotating Kitty, but leaving an Echo? Whew, rotating Flash, okay. Iterative, Iterative is one of my favorite cards the entire game. Um, there's so much play around this card the from both sides. Um, like just the cool things you can do, whether you're copying your unit or your opponent's unit. I love Iterative improvements so much. Um, like I would give a lot to have Iterative still in the game. I'm really sad to see this card go. I'm really sad to see this card go. Glorious, I've talked about that. I'm. I, I get it with Glorious, but I'm sad. We find this list. Um, LOR report. I guess I can link this. Um, I think it's all on Mobilitics. And you want to give PNC AOE? Yo, come on. <laughs> come on. But yeah, I, I just don't know, man. Give it all. Was give it all really doing like crazy things? Eager Apprentice? Like, uh, so many of the cards are getting rotated. Just It's just. I don't know. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Shadow Isles? Shadow Isles? Okay, okay. So here's the thing with Shadow Isles. When you look at Shadow Isles, we're going to see a lot of really good cards rotated, right? We're going to see a lot of really good cards. The other thing is, I think that Shadow Isles probably had, like, the highest density of good cards in their region, right? Um, I, I think that Shadow Isles had, like, so many very good cards. Um, but that said, they're definitely... They, they, got, they got fucked. Yeah, um, all the random, um, all the random summons and like manifests and stuff will only be from, uh, from the current rule set. So like, if you're playing standard, it'll only be standard. Imagine trying to play Nocturne. Yeah, Nocturne got all of his shit. Like fucking Rift Doom Beast. Thial makes sense. Atrocity. It's crazy to me that Atrocity got buffed back to fast speed. I don't know why we needed the month of slow speed Atrocity, but sure, sure. Um, Doom Beast, uh, Whale. You know, uh, unspeakable. Go hard. They just really wanted to kill all of the pings. Um, they killed all the spiders. They killed self slay, which is like kind of sad. Um, they killed miss rays. Yeah, and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in here. Matron was a long time coming, to be fair. Bam, yeah, kind of sad. Um. But Dexter even left an SI. So here's the thing with SI, right? Okay, uh, remember, we're like, oh my god, we lost so many good cards. Keep in mind, SI has a lot of really good fucking cards still. Um, the the deep card, the three mana drain two, that card's really fucking broken and is probably going to get played in like every SI deck. Um, if you need healing, like that card's really fucking good. Um, and like they still have like Darkness. Darkness is still really good. They still have Jace Heimer. Um, you know, Vengeance at the end of the day is still like the best kill spell in the game. Um... Vi I think SI will still see play. No, they don't. No, they don't want. No, they don't want. Sharima. Sharima. So, like, Prez and Absolver are, like... These were, like, fucking cards that were in almost every single Sharima deck. Right? I think it makes sense. SI doesn't have many playable cards left. Um, I don't know if that's true. They also just got the new two drop. 
they just got the new the new two drop that card's really good too i i think that's how it'll be fine heidi pink spell shield for vengeance you uh have another region um i think prez was like a really strong card but okay absolver was like probably if you were to pick like one card i'm down for absolver to be rotated out of here um devout i think this card was problematic um i think i was the only person that thought this card was problematic but i'm down for that unraveled right of the arcane right of calling these are all banger cards by the way these are all like nuts banger cards um right of calling has been like a problematic card for a while i think like a lot of this makes sense i think a lot of this makes sense um acolytes sure i guess we just decided that like the acolytes are like a mistake okay um yeah ruin runner with sivir this is kind of bad rip uh rip landmark otk I think I think a lot of the stuff here makes sense. Um Yeah. I think the biggest thing is just like where's Auction? Like I will trade fucking Zillion for Auction. Um hell, I'll even trade Sivir for Auction. Um I think Auction should absolutely have fucking bitten the dust here. All the regions have their allegiance cards rotate except Shrima. True, true. I assume it's because of the Shrima uh one, like the one that draws the champion or puts it at the top of your deck or whatever. I think it draws. Um, it just like embodies what the region's about, I guess. But yeah, it is weird. Um, and then Targon. Targon, I just... Everything I love about this region is like right here, right? Like Aphelios, Zoe, Scryer, um, Spell Thief. Spell Thief is such a goaded card. I love Spell Thief. Um, God, even like Temple. I don't know. It's it's depressing. It's depressing. I think a lot of what I enjoyed about this region is going out. It's a bummer. Would Shrima be the worst region without Auction? I don't think so. I think that region. Well, I don't know. If they also got like every single landmark thing rotated, probably. If you lost literally every single, <laughs> if, the, if like this whole list happened and Auction got rotated, potentially. Yeah, why did ground slam that's a great fucking question why did ground slam <laughs> get rotated at earth elemental i i don't know man. i don't know can you even flip malphite anymore i don't know oh um so here's the other thing is it like notable exceptions from this list right notable things that got basically zero cards rotated um every single atrox deck Every single Aatrox deck, so probably Aatrox Vein, but also Aatrox Kane, um, kept almost all their cards. Um, Auction Varus kept almost all their cards. They lost Absolver, but I don't know how important that one is. Deep? Yeah, Deep definitely is a deck that's still going to exist. Yeah. I think Jace Heimer. Um, like, Jace Heimer ate a nerf on uh, Hexacandler, but I don't think it's, like, that big a deal. Like, Jace, <laughs> Jace kind of made out with, like, a bandit. Because, like, everything else around him got fucking neutered. Got absolutely crushed. That's Flash and Bile. Yeah, but I think they're going to be fine, right? A lot of people are cutting Flash anyway, because we got Formula. And again, like, every single SI deck that wants to run a ping, like... Oh, I want Standard. This card's really fucking good. This card is really fucking good. Is it as good as Valfeast? No, of course not. But this card is going to be a good um, alternative, I think, in a lot of Shadow Isles decks. Oh, and fucking Gwen. Oh my god, Gwen is still in the game, dude. Foyer, once again, making out like a bandit, like fucking seven months straight. Foyer, just fucking sneaking past the, the fucking patch. And refusing to eat it or holy fuck. <laughs> holy fuck. Damn, can we play Samira Gwen? That's that's just what it is now, right? We're just playing Gwen Samira. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if like they necessarily want the power level directly to be lower. I think the idea would be that like if you rotate out like problematic shit, then you don't necessarily have to like continually release stronger and stronger champions to compete, right? 
so like eventually over time it, it, it should have an effect where we're not playing as strong a format because like eventually a lot of the top decks are like probably going to get nerfed if they're overperforming um but yeah if there was a deck if there was a deck that i would love to get fucking rotated jesus christ dude Darkness is one of the most miserable decks on the planet to play against in every single one of its forms. Oh my God. Like I, I, I dude, I'll, I'll, I'll trade back all of the SI rotations. I'll trade them all back, bro. <laughs> fucking yeah, give us back Elise and Thresh and fucking Kindred. Um, and I, I take Vagar. Just take Vagar. <laughs> like, fuck me, dude. Darkness is just so painful am i playing anyone right now no you want to play mo i'm not gonna play if you are i'm just molding about rotation let's go home though dope yeah no decks made okay well you want to take like 10 minutes to make some decks darkness is healthy i disagree